Welcome to A Hey My Cook. Today I'm going to show you how to build a Venn diagram with a word problem. So I just built a really easy example. So you can see how easy it is to do this. Um, you know, when you have a word problem and you need to figure it out the union, intersection, and all that. So let's do it. In a survey of 500 people, 200 say that they like cats, 100 say that they like dogs, 50 say that they like cats and dogs, and the rest say that they didn't like either cats or dog. So how do we do this? Okay, first we'll figure it out. How many elements, I'm uh, sorry, not how many elements, but how many sets do I have? Well, I have the cats, and then I'm, I have the dogs. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one cat, and then I'm gonna go ahead and call this one dogs. The best way to do this type of exercises, okay, is to figure it out the intersection. That's where sh you should always start. So let's go ahead and do it. And I'm gonna make another video where actually you will have three circles. So, but how do we do this one? The first step is that to figure it out who likes cats and dogs at the same time? Well, 50 people say that they like cats and dogs. You know, it's here. Usually the intersection is going to be at the end of the problem. That's how I always, you know, 99% I always uh, see the union right there. Now, let's remember. Let's figure out how many people only like cats. Now, 100 people say, I'm sorry, 200 people say that they like cats. I cannot put 200 here because I'm going to be double counting. If I put 200 here, look, my whole thing is going to be 250. So I don't put 200. I do 200 minus 50. And that's going to give me 150. So that way, you know that only 150 people like cats. But 50, which is the union, is cats and dogs. Let's do the dogs. 100 say that they like dogs. And, well, remember, I cannot put 100 here because then I'm going to be double counting. I just do dogs equals to 100 minus 50, which is going to be 50. So I put 50 right here. Now, we haven't finished because, remember, we, sor we did a survey and in total there were 500 people. Now, we need to figure it out how many people do not like cats or dogs. That's going to be right here, which I'm going to put my number. This is the whole universe. Everything in this rectangle here is the universe. Don't forget, how many people do I have in my circles? 150 plus 50, that's going to be 200 plus 50, that's going to be 250. Well, 500 people minus 250 in total I have 250. That's going to be the rest. So look at this. Now I have my Venn diagram and I can actually figure out a couple of things. So let's go ahead and play around with it. Let me go ahead and erase this part right here and we're going to break down every single thing, the unions, intersect and everything because you're going to see how easy it's going to be once you have it all built up. Okay, first of all, let's figure out how many people like only cats. Well, that's going to be 150. How many people only like dogs? That's just going to be 50. How many people do not like cats or dogs? Well, that's going to be um, 250, right? But right now, let's just go ahead and do the basics. If I want to figure it out, the union between cats and dog, that's going to be 150 plus 50, plus 50. Union is everything. Remember, when you marry someone, you bring everything into the house. So 150 plus 50 is going to be 200 plus 50. So that's 200 people. What about the intersect between cats and dogs? Well, it's just this area right here, and that's going to be 50 people only, okay? Then, what about if I want to figure out the complements? What is the complement? The complement means if I put the complement of cats, I'm going to put a little hat like that. Everything or every single person that do not like cats. It's weird because complement does not sound like that, but when you see when you hear the word complement and you're doing set, basically anyone that doesn't does not like cats in this case is going to be this area right here. Remember, 50 plus 250. So the complement of cat is actually 300. What about the complement of, of dogs? Who does not like dogs in this problem? Well, look at this. Uh, 
150 plus 250. So how much that's going to be? That's going to be 400. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning.